my name is Colin Shook. Uh, how is everybody doing this evening? Yeah. Wonderful. Um, you guys are in store for a great set of music. Um, again, my name is Colin Shook. I started Monk about four and a half years ago as a pop-up listening room series. You know, I'm a jazz pianist as well, and I felt like there were no rooms in town that were really treating the music with respect. Um, everywhere you go, beer and conversation was a priority, and you know, uh, the music always seemed to fall by the wayside, so um, treat this like you would a movie theater tonight. Um, don't let your conversations get in the way of the people next to you enjoying the show, you know? Step up in a corner, say, lean over, whisper to your neighbor, uh, whisper it into their ear, but again, um, it really helps to bring everybody into the fold and to be able to ride the wave of the music all together. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming here tonight to check it out. Can you please put your hands together for Antonio and Nate Apostle for opening up their space for us? Daylight savings time made it daylight during the first show, but you know, it's still a cool vibe in here. Um, and yeah, thanks to everybody who's helping me do this. Thanks to all that are checking in on the live streams on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you all who are out there tuning in tonight. Um, and, and yeah, with that said, uh, tonight we have Daniel Dufour on the drums. Sam Tanky on the double bass. And I say that, you know, with no hyperbole, it's actually true. Um, Andre, Eddie, Sam, Daniel, they're all good friends and amazing musicians. So I'm very honored to have them up here on stage with me. We're going to do a, a, a new, relatively new composition. Um, and this is by me. It's called Going Home.
just creative consulting. So we uh, grew up listening to a lot of the same type of music, so I trust him implicitly. He's just an uh, amazing, amazing musician. He was a finalist in the Thelonious Monk jazz piano competition, I think, when you were 18. Is that right? Yeah. Almost 17. 17. 17 years old. So, yeah, he's actually uh, went to school with Andre. They, they go way back from Houston, Texas. How about it for Andre Hayward, y'all? Andre Hayward. I think many of you saw the recent Chronicle feature about Andre. Maybe you did. Uh, um, well overdue, actually, because he's really, uh, you know, you look on all the streams, everybody has Andre playing with him. He's on all the gigs. He does like two or three gigs a day, it seems like. You know, and people aren't fools. They want the best, you know, and I do, too. Uh, but Andre and I have been knowing each other for many years. Um, I first got to meet him and hang out with him when he was playing with uh, Wynton Marsalis and the Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra. Uh, of course, his credits go beyond that. He's uh, tutored and played with the great Betty Carter. Um, and he came up playing with Roy Hargrove. It was on one of his recordings when he was just about 18, 19 years old. And the list goes on and on. Esperanza Spalding, Duke Ellington, I uh, mentioned Link Lincoln Center, Joshua Redman. Chick Corea. So we're very fortunate to have Mr. Andre Hayward here on the stage with us. So um, we're going to carry on with the tune that, uh, another tune that I wrote. I think most of the tunes that you hear tonight are original compositions. And that's a real treat for me. Uh, so thank you for indulging my music. <laughs> Uh, this one I wrote actually for a great friend of mine. His name is Mr. Martin Banks. He's a trumpet player um, who spent a lot of time in New York. He played in the house band at the Apollo. He played with Duke Ellington. He played with Dexter Gordon. And he settled down here in Austin for the, his uh, later years in life. And he had all kinds of amazing stories to tell about the history of this music. And um, so I dedicated it to Martin Banks. Um, it's on my CD called Kicks Are For Kids, which featured Ellis Marsalis. So I also dedicated it to Ellis, uh, you know, who passed last year, unfortunately, uh, because of COVID. Um, so this is for Martin Banks and Ellis Marsalis. I call it History Book.
Daniel Dufour on the drums. Sam Pankey on the bass. Great band, isn't it? Isn't it a great band? So I'm very fortunate to be able to play. So you met the front line up here. We're going to meet the back line now. That's why they call it the back line. Did you know that? Front line, back line? Makes sense, right? So um, I first met uh, Daniel, God, I don't know how many years, maybe 10 years now, maybe longer. Um, uh, and just took the Austin scene by storm. But not just Austin, Houston, San Antonio, Dallas. He plays all over the state of Texas. He's one of the top call musicians in the state and is just a fabulous, fabulous, wonderfully talented musician. So very fortunate to have him in Austin. Lucky to call him a friend. He has a new CD out. Yes, thank you, Clay. He, he's a, a great writer. And is, uh, what's the name of the CD, Daniel? Convergence. Convergence. Got a new CD out. Give it up for Mr. Daniel Dufour. Daniel Dufour on the drums. And his partner in crime back there on the double bass. And a similar story, I first started hearing about Sam many years ago. I think he was at the University of Texas. And just such a wonderfully melodic and lyrical player with an incredible sense of time and support and just the most beautiful guy you'd ever like to meet as well. He plays multiple styles of music. Um, uh, whatever the, the situation calls for, he is a top call musician in this town. And uh, very proud to have him up here on stage. Give it up for Mr. Sam Pankey on the double bass. Sam Pankey. So, we... Uh, dodge the hail tonight, but um, man, we've had some weather this year, have we not? That was no good. I actually had a bunch of hail damage to my house and to my car, which I'm still dealing with, which sucked, but that's why we pay all that money to the insurance companies, right? But um, we hoping that this year is full of nothing but positive things for each and every one of you, given that we had to deal with not so much fun last year, you know? So I hope that you are getting vaccinated and your loved ones are getting vaccinated so we can do more of this. Would you like to do more of this? I would like to do more of this. <clears throat> it's a lot of fun for me. I do feel a little out of practice, honestly, but uh, I'm enjoying it. So I hope you are too. We're going to do another original tune of mine. Um, I wrote this when I was living in New York. I lived in Brooklyn for four years, um, back 2000 and 2004. And my apartment was a third floor walk up and had a beautiful view of downtown Manhattan. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, I'd go up to the roof and we had a rooftop access and be able to sit out there and take in all the sounds and look at all the sights. It was a beautiful city. And so it's my, my tribute, kind of. It's called A View of the City.
Daniel Dufour, Eddie Hopazal, A View of the City. Are you guys having a good time tonight with us? Are you enjoying the music? We are having a great time and uh, so appreciative and so thankful that you bought tickets to come see us and support the music tonight. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I wrote this next song actually in tribute to a lovely audience that comes out. You know, there's nothing like playing for people. There's nothing like having a live audience that, you know, the streams are great, Colin, but, you know, we need some people in there. Actually, Colin, I don't know where he went. He's probably out. But he is now starting to have people in his studio for his streams. So go to the Monk's website or the Monk's Jazz webpage, and if you like to hear this kind of music, you can buy tickets for his live streams. So... We, we love that because the interaction is, you know, it can't be reproduced, you know, and you're playing for 
the cameras only. So this is a real treat. Hopefully we'll be doing this again soon. So this next song I wrote from my friend Alejandro Escovedo who asked me to compose a song for him and he invited us to play down at the Moody Theater uh, one event for his annual birthday show that he used to have down there. And it was called The Sounds of Austin. And he was like, you, you can play, but you must write a song. <laughs> I was like, damn it, OK. Um, so I, I went to the piano, and it took about two weeks. But I did do it. And um, so I wrote it for him, but I also write it for the audience. And because without you guys, we're really nothing. So, and I write it for the band because, you know, got to have a band to play the music. And I'm so fortunate to be surrounded by these brilliant musicians. And this is on my last uh, CD. It's actually the title track. And I call it For Being There. Thank you for being there. Turn the favor one day. <laughs> Least accepted. <laughs>
for being there. Once again, Eddie Hobazal, Andre Hayward, Sam Pankey. Beautiful solos all. Now see what I did when I surprised him? Come on now. There must be something in the water in Houston, Texas between y'all two, man. Oh my goodness. That was some soulful stuff. Man, you guys are heavy duty cats. That was awesome. That was so awesome. Hey, I think we got one more for the set. We appreciate you coming out. You guys want to hear one more song? Uh, it's just been a real treat to do this. Thank you, Colin Shook, for having us. Monks Jazz. You know, they say that necessity is the mother of invention. And uh, when we ran against this pandemic wall where literally in a day or two, the entire calendar was wiped out for a lot of musicians looking at themselves going, what the are we going to do? Colin said, man, I got some cameras, and I think I know how to use this streaming software, kind of. And he started doing it out of his house, just trio. And, you know, started messing around with all the gear. And here we are a year later, he's got this incredible remote setup with four cameras and lights and grand piano and, you know, all this stuff, man. That's amazing, Colin. Good on you, brother. Good on you, brother. Thank you. And for those of you who are out in the virtual world looking in, streaming, thank you for wherever you are. I believe there is a virtual tip jar. And, uh, you know, that actually was uh, really helpful for a lot of musicians to be able to do these streams that could bring in some actual cash. Um, and so we do appreciate your generous tips online. Please do go to the, uh, the Venmo and the PayPal and all those things. And we'll take all your emojis, the claps and the fires as as Colin says, the virtual currency these days. So we got one more for you. Thank you so much for being here. Maybe some of you bought tickets to the second set, I hope. Stick around for, we'll, we'll just chill out together. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a beverage and, and chill and, you know, it'd be like old times. So we're gonna do one more tune. I wrote this one. It's uh, dedicated to the great uh, Reverend Dr. Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King, and I wrote this one. It's called Eternal and Absolutes off my 2006 CD called Dream Story, and uh, we hope you enjoy this one.
Thank you. 
Eddie Hovazal. Piano, Eddie Hovazal. Mr. Sam Pankey. Sam Pankey on the bass. Give it up for Daniel Dufour on the drums. Daniel Dufour. The great Andre Hayward. Andre Hayward on the trombone. Yours truly, Elias Hasslinger, saxophone. Colin Shook, thank you to Native Hostel. Good night. Thank you guys, that's music to our ears. We appreciate you, love you guys. Have a great night. If you're sticking around, we got one more set of music. We're here's some Colin Shook for you. All right, thank you all so much. Uh, feel free to hang around for 10 or 15, finish your drinks. Uh, we've got another round of people coming through. Um, please check out the online streams, all that stuff. One more time for Elias Hasslinger. <laughs> <laughs> 